Sarah Ann and I give water to people. Shall we meet some of our heroes? Duncan Still, spaceman born in 1955. Duncan Still was born in what we know as Weatherspoons today, but back then it was known as the Palladium Electric Cinema. My father, when I was born, was the projectionist in the cinema. The room I was born in is now part of the Weatherspoons. Early on in life, Duncan was always quite interested in anything to do with astronomy. So whenever it came to class, the only thing he could concentrate on was space. Duncan! Duncan still! 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 You're always daydreaming. Go to the principal office now. Don't let anybody discourage you. Don't let anybody As Duncan would always say, go for your heart's desire, do what you want to do, push yourself to the limit, you don't always have to go for what other people say, do what you can do and what you want to do, because he wants you to follow your own heart's desire. If you're going to be the world's best at whatever it is you're interested in, go for it. You know, don't let anybody discourage you, you go for it. Duncan's children have achieved a lot in life, but they didn't go to any fancy private schools. They only went to community schools like Duncan himself. Duncan has always wanted to support his hometown, Norton, and all of the people in it. Always going to other schools, explaining about space and how good it is, and inspiring children around his old area. You started. Here's some water. Oh. Oh, what was that for? Sorry. We're at Midsummer Norton Skate Park, aka our second home. Thanks, Ian Jennings. It's one of the only places, and I had nowhere to ski, but now I can. Before 2010, Midsummer Norton had no skate park. Ian Jennings decided to do something about the boredom at Midsummer Norton. He got all his local friends who wanted a skate park in Midsummer Norton to sign a petition. Can I say, Ian Jennings is a Midsummer Norton legend. The petition was successful and the skate park was built. It makes me happy. Today, Ian Jennings runs a company called Maverick, who design and build skate parks all over the world. Well, they were interested. Should we go meet some of our other heroes? 1905. Kay and Joan were playing in Welton Manor Farm, their home. What would you like to be when you're older, Joan? I'm not sure, maybe a doctor or police. What about you? Remember, those jobs are for boys and boys only. That's not fair. Well, that changed. That's how it is. Well, I want to change that. Let's change this together. A few years later, Joan and Kay Beecham became suffragettes. Sometimes they got in trouble by the police. Women protesting on the streets! Wait till the Prime Minister hears about this. He's going to go crazy. Sorry, officer, we're just doing what's fair. Fine, I'll let you off this time, but no second chances. Kay was a communist. This also got her into trouble. Kay spent time in Africa to make a new generation of black leaders for the country. Oh, Kenya, I love it here. Joan was very pacifist, passionately anti-war. My husband is not going to war. This also got her into trouble. 
you are going to prison. And both sisters spent time in prison. Here's some water. Thanks. Thank you, Sarah. No problem. at lunchtime? No thanks, I'm writing a play. <laughs> <laughs> so happily Kristen and join her. I know, right? All he does is just write. Yeah. <laughs> but Chris was serious about his ambitions. Within a few years, he was a student at London's Drama Centre. Hey Chris! Hey, But Chris wasn't happy to just be an actor. I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to be a playwright. And Chris was making other changes in his life. Did you hear that I'm gay now? That's a right, Chris. Yeah, that's fine with us. But... Like, have you heard about the people in other countries? They don't accept gay rights. They don't accept gay rights. Chris read about a newspaper in Uganda called The Rolling Stone. It was full of violent, homophobic ideas. Chris was disturbed but inspired and he really wanted to like do something about it. His first play, Land of Our Fathers, had been very successful. But now Chris needed to write a follow-up. His next play, The Rolling Stone, was even more successful. He won lots of awards. So, Chris Rich, congratulations on winning the award and on writing a play and why did you, you decide to write it? Uh, I wrote this play because I wanted to highlight a political issue between two men and a conflicting family where one of the members is gay. To this day, Chris is still writing plays and is a powerful voice for gay rights. When I was about 13, every Saturday morning in Midsummer Norton, I would go to a theatre club and it just inspired me to write. And there are so many different ways to tell stories. For me, I try and write stories that inspire people, entertain people and maybe gives them lots of hope and, yeah, makes them happy, hopefully. Thank you for watching our Midsummer Norton Heroes. Maybe one day the next one will be you.